Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to show you an out-of-the-box feature in order to create, just in a few clicks, a video playlist in SharePoint or Microsoft Lists. If you are looking into a custom solution in order to render in a very fancy way your videos, check the link in the description or click in the upper right corner. All right, let's get started. Here I am in SharePoint. This is the home site of my organization. I want to create here a new list which will contain all relevant videos for the organization with a playlist. Now, to do that, I'm going to click on the Buffle menu and then I will open Microsoft Lists. Of course, you can do this directly from here by clicking on the command bar in the new button and then List. But I will do that directly in Microsoft Lists. Now let's start to create a new list. Here down below you have a bunch of templates and we can find playlist. Let's click on it and here you have a preview how it looks like my list view. We have the thumbnail, the title, owner and duration. Okay, I'm going to use this, this one. Now let's start to be original here with the title, playlist, videos, and so on. The description, we are going to keep it this blank. And now you have to decide the icon. Let's take this icon, the color, we are going to select this one. And keep in mind where you want to store and create this list. In my case, I'm going to drop this list in the home site of my organization. Now let's click on the button create to create the list. Now that I am in the list, you can see that this is the playlist view. You can change view by clicking on the button all items if you want. Let me add some video now by clicking on the button add new item. Here in my OneDrive I have some video in the folder webinars. Let me select my four videos that I have and let's upload this video in this list. All right, now as you can see, I have a preview of my videos with this uh, template. It's pretty cool. Here you have on the, on the right, you have the player and here you can play the video if you want. As I mentioned, you have also the ability to switch across the all items views and here you can see the duration, you can add uh, additional uh, metadata information if you want. But let me switch back on the playlist. But directly from here you can play the video. And, and what you have here are several information like about video. You can add a comments if you want. You can uh, see analytics. This is also relevant. Now let me show you something. If you go in the on the upper left corner in the waffle menu you can open stream and let me target now a video that i have here it is this one this video if i click on the three dots i can open now this this video and very important here you have video settings here you can turn on chapters if you want now for this video i can add chapters it is this video 384 let me go back now on my list view and let me refresh here this page it is the 384 we said Hi, let me stop this video and if i click now on about video we have an additional capability in on the second icon we can see chapters and if you add chapters this is the place where chapters will show up. Let me go back on this tab in 384. I can now click on go to chapter and I, here I can add, for example, a chapter. I can say introduction. Let me confirm this. I can add a, another, another chapter at minute, for example, one. This works like YouTube. And here I can say, for example, demo. Let's confirm. All right, now I added two chapters. This means that in my list, I will see this thing showing up. Now let me refresh again this, this list and let me 
select this video let me stop and uh, if i go on chapter now i can see my chapters showing up i can jump directly on the demo if i want for example this is how it works this is a new template in uh, sharepoint or microsoft lists it's very nice it's useful as i mentioned it, it makes sense to to build these kind of things in, uh, in directly in sharepoint or in a team in microsoft teams so people can uh, re-watch important videos all right, we have seen how to take advantage by an out-of-the-box functionality available in SharePoint in order to create a video playlist. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this capability. I hope to see you next time.